voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Hey everyone, it's uh, Friday morning, June 26th, and I'm coming to make this video because I think it's important for everyone to know that as Christians we must love even our own enemies. It's no good to love only the ones who love us. What good is, is that? Everyone does that. But to love our enemies is what Christ did. We show love to everyone. And I believe that the enemy is going to use this ruling on gay marriage today to cause the vilification of Christians. I doubt that very much. Keep in mind that the majority of people living in the U.S. identify as a Christian. So many Christians are okay with gay marriage. However, it's people like yourself who are going to be vilified because you oppose a quote-unquote lifestyle of gay folk. It doesn't matter how peaceful you are, if you oppose something because some deity that may or may not exist tell you that being gay is on par with being a murderous sicko or being a pedophile, yeah, telling their lifestyle is wrong is hateful no matter how you put it. There will be those who say they're Christians but not, do not behave in such a way. Oh great, the no true Scotsman fallacy. This is just a repeat of Josh Fernstein's argument. If you don't act Christ-like, then you're not a true Christian. As I stated before, Christians are supposed to follow the New Testament and not the old one since the new uh, barely says anything about homosexuality. But we all know people like yourself nitpick parts of the Bible in order to justify your actions. We are not to commit hate crimes, violent acts. We're not to speak ill. We speak the truth. The tr hate to break it to you, but your truth might as well be hate speech. Hell, your Bible is pretty much hate speech on humanity itself. It's nothing more than just saying that humanity is just a big piece of shit and being human means you got to repent because you're born human. The second you start to breathe air as a human, you have sinned. Sorry, but I love the fact that I'm human. And if your god does exist, then I'm one to sue your god because if I had a choice to choose between being a human and being an animal, I would choose to be an animal. Like a cheetah or a dog or even a fucking platypus. Truth is that in God's word, homosexual relations are an abomination and marriage of homosexuals is an abomination you see what you're saying right now you're saying that homosexuality is an abomination that's hate speech right there of what god ordained in this world but it doesn't mean that we hate we don't have hate so we want to tell you that we love you Oh, you're giving those cute little puppy eyes look sorry but hate speech is hate speech it doesn't matter who it comes from we don't agree with the choices and the lifestyle to have pride. We're not to have pride. And yes, we are sinners. We're all, Lady Gaga is right when she says we're all born this way. We're all born in sin. And our greatest crime is that we're being born human. Seriously, if this is not self loathing I don't know what is. Psalm 51, 5, we're actually all conceived in sin. And homosexuality, fornication, adultery, lying, murder, they're all sins. So the goal today is to repent because judgment is coming upon the world. And I bet 50 years later you're going to still be saying the exact same thing. Repent, God is coming. Repent, God is coming. And how do you know that he's coming? Because you just feel it in your bones. Not by the hands of Christians. We are to love. But by the hands of God. It's his choice and we will allow him to do what he believes is right. So if God decided to come down from the heavens and decide to rape your wife in front of you, are you just going to allow it because, you know, it's God? Ha! Huh. Man, you're a wimp. He is a loving and merciful God. By sending people to hell because they are gay. Sorry, but I can't find anyone who deserves to burn in hell. And even if I could find one, like Anita Sarkeesian, it would not be forever. Maybe a good 20 days would do. But forever? Not even Hitler's that cruel! But he sent the waters in Noah's day, it's a true story, and gave his promise with the rainbow, which is his bow set in the clouds, which is around its throne in heaven, that he would not flood the earth again. And his reason for flooding the planet is because even the children and babies who didn't know what sin were, were all evil except for Noah and his family, and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, even though God could just fix the problem with ease! Or maybe your God isn't really all that powerful. That would not be the Earth's destruction. This time it's by fire. The fire is coming. And unfortunately, there will be those who get burned. It's not what any of us want. 
Then stand up and fight! It's time to punch God in the face! Who believe in Christ and love Jesus. So we ask you humbly to please turn away from the ways that are not pleasing to God, whatever that is. The old powerful being has a problem with a man taking a penis up his ass. I think your God should be more worried about the children starving in Africa. If it be homosexuality, if it be adultery, if it be fornication, if it be lusts, if it be lies, all of those things which God detests, we must walk with Christ, resist temptation, and flee from violence, hatred, and love, even those who we don't agree with. So this video is to tell you what real Christians, true Christians believe. And no, it's about how your God has a larger ego than the sun. And he also a big man-child because a man has a penis up his ass and he likes it. What the Bible says, that love is the greatest of all things. God gives us a choice to choose what he thinks is favorable or what we want to do ourselves without thinking about God and rebelling against him. Well, like I always say, I would rather live a day as a lion than to live a thousand years as a sheep. So we need to come out of our rebellion and accept Christ Jesus. He's the only rescue from this situation. It's all downhill now. There's no turning back. We are at the point of no return. We are in the days of Lot, Sodom and Gomorrah, and we are in the days of Noah. And so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. Jesus is coming. Prepare the way of the Lord.